is Brett Kavanaugh. Brett Kavanaugh has been active in partisan, dirty Republican politics since graduating from law school. He was involved in the Ken Starr Report. He's also had his hand in other cases, including Elian Gonzalez. He represented then-candidate Bush and Bush v. Gore. I'll never listen to another person say, my vote doesn't count. After successfully arguing Bush v. Gore, Kavanaugh joined the Bush White House as his counsel. Mr. President, I am honored to have served you and the presidency for the last five and a half years. If there was a touch point issue that Republicans were involved in in the 1990s through 2000s, Brett Kavanaugh was creepily there. If you were around during this time, you know that a lot of just bad stuff happened for LGBTQ people. What are all of the anti-LGBTQ issues that Brett Kavanaugh could have touched while in the Bush White House? So Brett Kavanaugh has been a busy guy. That busy career produces a record. It is my honor and privilege to announce that I will nominate Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the United States. The next States. big thing that we're waiting on is going to be his hearing. And historically, the Senate has gone through every piece of paper, every statement, every speech to a local club that the justice has given. This morning, I nominated our Solicitor General, Elena Kagan. When Justice Kagan was joining the bench, she also had served as counsel for the White House and also had a tremendous, tremendous record. The Senate Judiciary Committee paused for almost a month to allow the Clinton Library to release 170,000 pages of information and almost every single email that Justice Kagan ever wrote in the White House. It was vitally important that we have an opportunity to question her on her views about the law. The George W. Bush Library, it actually has approximately 429,870 pages that could be relevant to this hearing. What does he really think about criminalizing gay people? The U.S. Supreme Court justices ruled it's unconstitutional to make homosexual sex a crime. What does he really think about our rights to access marriage equality? An amendment to our Constitution defining and protecting marriage as a union of a man and woman as husband and wife. What does he think about our families? What does he think about our right to be safe? We don't know because documents have not been released from the White House. How do we know that Brett Kavanaugh had his fingerprints on any of this? The Freedom of Information Act has helped us locate this gem. An email from October 2003 discussing the proclamation of Marriage Protection Week. And Brett Kavanaugh is a CC party on the email. I believe a marriage is between a man and a woman. And I think we ought to uh, codify that one way or the other. And we've got lawyers looking at the best way to do that. I am honored to have served you and the presidency for the last five and a half years. And we've got lawyers looking at the best way to do that. And in this picture, President Bush is reviewing his remarks for the 2004 State of the Union address. Our nation must defend the sanctity of marriage. Can you find Brett Kavanaugh? I'll give you a minute. It's this little guy in the court. We are urging the Senate to not move forward with scheduling a hearing until we have Brett Kavanaugh's full record. There's no reason to hide these emails unless there's a reason to hide these emails.